This tutorial is about exploring the inputs and outputs of atoms. So I'm going to uh, create a polycircle, which is a geometric primitive atom. And when I create that atom, I can see in the parameter window a list of all of the inputs which affect that polycircle atom. So as I change the radius input here, you can see that reflected in the 3D view. Likewise with a number of segments and other parameters. When you select the input part of the atom, you can see that the inputs appear as these uh, circles around the edge of the input area of the atom. And likewise, if I selected the, outs the output part of the atom, I get this as well. The grey um, outputs here are re represent uh, values or lists of values which can be outputted from this atom and the white uh, one re always represents geometry. So these inputs and outputs allow us to connect nodes together in various different ways and I'm going to just do an example of that now. So I'm going to create another node which is also a geometric node although it's not a geometry primitive it's a move node and what's happened there is the geometry that is output from the polycircle has automatically been connected to the geometry input of the move node and I can change the values on this move node either through updating the properties over here in the property window or in this case with the move node I've, I'm given a handle that I can move around in the 3D view as well. So when I created the move atom it automatically was connected to the, the polycircle. However I may not want those two things to be connected I can always disconnect them and of course it's possible to manually connect two atoms together. Here I'm dragging the geometry output from the polycircle atom through to the move node and we can see it's connected to the geometry input of the move node and it didn't give me a choice about what which one of these I could connect it to because the only one that a geometry output can connect to is a geometry input.